study will be over improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater or equal to the denominator. For example, 9 is greater than 4, 13 is greater than 3, 21 is greater than 5, and 32 is greater than 10. Is this an improper fraction? It is because they are equal to each other. So let's look at our first question. We have nine fourths. So we have a pie or circle that is cut into fourths. The question is asking, how many fourths are there in nine pieces? How many fours go into nines? How many, let's see. We have one. Let me use a different marker. We have one, two, three, four. Nope, let's draw another whole circle. Five, six, seven, eight. Let me draw one more whole circle and cut it into fourths. So how many fours go into nine? Two whole times plus one remainder. Hmm. So the mixed number is two and one fourth. So how many fours go in nine? Two times plus one whole number. So, let's look at this. We have two whole numbers. Times four is eight. One more is nine. Let's check our work. Do you remember the popcorn method from our mixed number? Four times two is eight, plus one is nine fourth. So two and one fourth is the same as nine fourth. This improper fraction is the same as this mixed number. Let's try another example. How many thirds Go into 13. How many thirds go into 13? It goes in one time. It goes in two times. It goes in three times. Do we have enough? Do we have 13 pieces? Nope. It goes in four times. That's 12 pieces. I think we need one more plus one more. It goes in... This fractional part, so 3, 6, 9, 12, plus one more, is 13. So how many thirds go into 13? Four holes plus one third. Let's, so 13 third is the same or equivalent to four and one third. Let's check our work. Popcorn method, four times three is 12, plus one is 13 third. You know what? There must be another way to do this without drawing. It's called, one way, it's called the Taibo method. You can divide. Taibo, which we'll be learning in the next lesson, is called TOP, is a uh, acronym for TOP goes in, bottom goes out. This is something you will be hearing from sixth grade through eighth grade from your teachers. So what does it mean? You have a division bar. Who is on the top? 13. Who is on the bottom? The third. So it goes on the outside of the division bar. So it's asking, how many thirds go into 13? How many thirds go into 13? Four times with a remainder of one extra. So how can I write that as a mixed number? Four whole plus one third. But um, hopefully, you can do this in your head. So how many thirds go in 13? Four times with one extra, four and one third. Let's try the next one in our head. How many fifths go into 21? How many fives go into 21? 5, 10, 15, 20. It goes in four times. That's 20 with how many left over? One left over. So four and one fifth. 21 fifth is the same as four and one fifth. Let's check our work using the popcorn method. 4 times 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21 fifth. What if you are one of the students who cannot do this in your head? Let's do tie bow. Top goes in, bottom goes out. Can 5 go into 21? It goes in 4 times. Remainder is 1. 4 with 1 left over, and you're dividing by what? 5s or 5ths, 4 and 1 fifth. Let's try our last example. Again, let's try to do this in our head. How many 10s 
go into 32. How many tens go into 32? It goes in three times, 10, 20, 30. Two extra, two remaining, how about that? Let's check our work using the popcorn method. 10 times three is 30 plus two is 32 tenth. So this mixed number, three and two tenth, is the same as this, as this improper fraction, 32 tenths. Hey, did you know you can simplify three and two tenths? Aren't they both even? Even numbers can be divided by two. So if you divide this by two, it's also equivalent to three and one fifth. So 32 10 is the same as three and two 10, which is the same as three and one fifth. So many equivalencies. Again, what if you cannot do this in the head? Let's do the Tybo method for those who like it. Top number goes in, bottom number goes out. Can 10 go in 32? Three times. Or remainder is two. So 3 and 2, 10, which simplify to 3 and 1 fifth. So improper fraction is where the numerator is greater than equal to the denominator. You just need to figure out how many denominators go into that numerator. And that is the study of improper fractions.